Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Well, what I got for you today is another chopper. Now, in preparation for Nepal opening up, now listen to me on this. Listen to me. Everybody listen to me. I, I, I'm not mad that my D-Bad preacher isn't here. Well, that's a lie. I'm mad as hell because I ordered it five weeks ago, but I understand it's COVID. The Nepalese are sick, whatever. And everybody, oh, skip, it's open up. No, it's not. Google the shit. It's not open. Okay? I don't care what you think. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care if you got a Nepalese mother-in-law. I don't give a damn. Google it. It's closed. Now, that said, that said, I don't, I, I, I'm not like bashing Nepal. I'm not bashing the bad or the knife. I've never been so excited about getting a damn knife in my life. There's gonna be some cussing in this video, so you may just wanna get the cuss jar out, get it ready, my birthday's two months, so well, it's next month. So I gotta catch up, cause y'all gotta put quarters in the jar when the cuss and send it to me on my birthday. Now, in preparation, for Nepal opening up, which should be tomorrow. If it's not, open your door in the morning and you'll probably hear a scream from Green Coast Springs, Florida. That's probably old scab screaming. Okay? And if you got an email from good on you, God bless you. I, I, may the good Lord take a liking, I don't know. Now, I will say this about them. They have been jam up on keeping me up to date with my stuff. It's in a box, sitting there waiting. Now I ordered my boy Sean, a Kukri, the Arab something, something, something. That, that ain't even ready yet. That's fine. Now, these are handmade items. So it takes time. Next week, I'm gonna go ahead and order another D-Bad in preparation for our 500 subscribers. Y'all understand, and this ain't no pat, pat on my back at all. I want to do it because I'm so appreciative of, of everybody who's kind of helped and built this thing. And we're at about 234, 235 subscribers right in here. Probably after this video, probably lose about 30 of them. That's fine. But in preparation, and y'all understand, every 500 subscribers, I'm buying a knife and giving it away. I'm buying it. Got no sponsors. So again, not a pat on my back, it's just something I want to do. So all that said, y'all done got me why I done got mad here in two minutes. Now, that aside, getting ready for my D-Bad Preacher, okay? Don't, don't say, Jeb, it's open, it's not. I just Googled it. <sighs> getting ready for the D-Bad Preacher coming. I have, yesterday I showed you them movies. I don't know who won yesterday. I, I, my heart kind of tells me the Marine Raider, cause it, but the Cold Steel 1917 son, it came on with it. I, I, they both, you got one that's about 120 bucks, that's the Cold Steel, or 100 bucks, I think it paid 100 bucks. And, and that, that, that Ontario Marine Raider does about 50, and listen, I, I get it. Uh, it, it. Ontario, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna just shut, no, I'm not doing it tonight. I'm gonna do home offense tonight. That's right, offense. There ain't no self-defense. There ain't no home defense. It's offense. I don't even know why I'm so mad. But one day this week, I'm gonna pull out all my Ontarios and show y'all. Now, I rework the edge on every one of them. Every one of them I get, okay? But when I buy it, because I, you know, I've had a Rat 5, the Rats are a little more expensive. You know, if you want expensive Ontario, go buy Essie. That, that's what they are. They left Ontario and started their own company. There you go. There's Scab's advice for today. But they're cheap. They're, they're inexpensive knives. Yeah, you're going to have to put an edge on it. Most knife guys don't mind. I, and I do understand that. If I pay money for a knife and it comes in and it's just jacked up or it's like a butter knife, I get pretty mad. But... I order Ontario's, and it's like getting a cold steel tomahawk made by American Tomahawk Company, okay? I know when I get that thing in, I'm gonna do a little work on it. It's, it's fine, I, I enjoy it. But what I got 
in preparation, I digress, for, for, for the D-bad coming, you know, I'm probably about 76 when it gets here, so I may not be able to swing anything. But in preparation to take it on now, I've got El Chete, which is Spanish for the Chete. Quarter inch thick. It's about two pounds, maybe more. I don't know. Somebody's running in there right now trying to look it up or weigh it. Right, you leave me alone today. About a 13 inch blade, five inch handle, 1095. Son, this is a bad Moda scooter. Say, Scab, you gonna chop something with it? Does it bear shit in the woods? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, probably gonna just pull over here in a minute and just start swinging it. I'd say I'd swing it at them Nepalese, but my granddaddy said don't ever mess with no Gurkhas. He served with them in World War II. My grandfather was six foot five, 285 pounds, and this is the God's honest truth. He passed away when he was 68 years old. That's not a good number in our family. Now, my dad's about to hit 69, praise the Lord, and he's in good health, good shape. And my dad's probably one of the best men that ever walked this planet. That's the God's honest truth. Rick Baldwin is one of the finest men. That's just the truth. And my granddaddy was just a finer man, Darren Ball. Now my granddaddy served in World War II. And I asked him, I said, granddaddy, who? He passed when I was 17. I'm turning down here to go swing this thing. I said, granddaddy, who's the toughest guys? Now you gotta watch what you ask veterans. We didn't talk about all this, but I said, granddaddy, who's the toughest guys you ever fought or served with? And I couldn't even, he said, Gurkhas. He would look on time. I said, well, he's a Gurkhas. And Granddad didn't say something. He ain't gonna tell you something two or three times now. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't gonna sit there and... Now, he would with me because he loved me to death, but... Granddad tell you something, you're gonna take it to the bank, son. Granddad was a tech sergeant, 30 cool water cow, or 30 caliber water cool machine gun. Had two other guys with him and... He served in North Africa and Italy. It was right there at uh, Monte Cassino and NGO and into Rome. He actually seen the bodies of Mussolini and his mistress. But he said the Gurkhas were some bad dudes. He said, I'll tell you two things about them, son. Never seen them mad, never seen them sleep. And he stopped and he took it back. He said, I seen one mad one, and he just stopped. He said, you don't ever want to make a Gurkha mad. So I, when I'm on the phone, I'm emailing, talking, yeah, okay, okay, because them little dudes come here and cut me. <laughs> he all over, son. And yeah, I got some skill. I'd probably take out 13, 14 regular people, but a girl could come over here about this big, come here and kill me. So I, I, I'm just all over the place on this video. So here's the deal. I'm going to do some testing. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. That sucks. Now, when I get home, the other video I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out Sean Crawford made a, a gorgeous um, knife stand. It, it's 22 mission. It, he didn't put his logo on it. Uh, Choir Boys Cutlery's not on it. This thing is just for pocket knives. It, looking to put it in the office. I want to auction it off, and I want to give that money to charity. Now listen to me. I make a good living. I'm not saying that bragging. Lord knows. Now y'all know I'm arrogant. Everybody's watched the channel. Oh, stay pretty here. Yep. It, to be so fat, I don't know why, I'm, but I am. But I'm not saying it for that reason. What I'm telling you is, folks, my hand before the Lord. I want this channel to grow, and I want to help where I can. So we're going to auction it off. Um, and, and I'm thinking about giving the money to Canines for Vets. Um, one of my dad's neighbors is a, is a, was a combat medic. He's still in the Navy. And he and I talked, that dude's smart, his name's James, super good guy. And he was saying that uh, the, the Canines for Vets is a great cause. Most, a lot of the money goes to the actual stuff and that's important to me. Um, I want this money, no matter how much it is, to go to that cause. So 22 veterans a day commit suicide. When I get home, I'm gonna do a little thing. I'm gonna start the bidding off on it. Listen, we're gonna let it, I'm gonna leave it up for a month. Please consider it please um because i want to help i want to do something then we got our leos law enforcement officers man they're under fire right now under fire under fire from criminals under fire from the media under fire from the politicians this is not a political channel 
That's, I don't even I don't want nothing political in my in my comments. Nothing. I'll erase that shit faster than you can blink, son. But our policemen are under fire. You say, Scab, I, well, listen, I've been called, I, 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 I've stood with them in parking lots, and I've had them jump on me, but I believe in the law. You understand me? I believe in that badge, and I'll stand behind it. Now, Adams, near and dear to my heart, and one day, I'm just going to focus on that. I'm not ready mentally to do that. Pray for those who, who, who are suffering now. I, addiction is not a disease. I've never considered it a disease. And I say that because I think when we do that and we say, hey man, it's a disease, we give it power, okay? Personal opinion, not a counselor or nothing. I am an addict, uh, I am clean, so that's just me. Love y'all, I've rambled way too long. Let me give you another look at this El Chetty. You are gonna see it again soon. Love y'all. God bless y'all. I'm scab. You're not. And we gone.